Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket. In today's video, we are going to be sharing 50 plus tips, tricks, and features to customize your OnePlus 9 or the OnePlus 9 Pro. Whether you own this phone or want to buy one, this is the video to watch to learn as much as possible about it. Let's dive in and get started right away. Now, the very first thing I do want to talk about has to do with the actual fingerprint sensor. So if I turn off the screen, and if I double tap to wake it up, you'll see that we have it right there. Now, when you press and hold, you are going to see a special animation around that fingerprint sensor that is, in fact, customizable. So let me show you all the options that we have. So if I go to my settings over here, and if I go into my security unlock screen, and if I go into my fingerprint unlock, let me just dump in the password here. Uh, you'll notice that we have the fingerprint animation effect. And we do have a bunch of options. We have the energy, the cosmos, the ripple, and then we have the none. So as you can see, uh, if I tap on the energy, that's the animation that I get. If I tap on cosmos, that's the animation that I get, as you can see. And if I tap on ripple, that's the one I get. And if you don't want any animation, you can just disable it, okay? So let me just show you one more example. Let's do the ripple or cosmos, okay? So tap on save. I'm gonna turn off the screen. Okay, and then over here, when I log in, you saw that Cosmos animation effect. So it is customizable. Let's move on. So if I go to the settings right over here, and if I go into my display uh, right over here, okay, what we have is we have the advanced features at the bottom here. And when you tap on these guys, this is where you change the resolution and the refresh rate of your phone. So when I tap on this one, I have two resolutions, full high definition plus, and quad high definition plus you can see this one gives you the maximum clarity but increased power consumption this one excellent quality but lower power consumption so i recommend that you keep it at full high definition plus it still looks great and you can go back here and pick the refresh rate you can go for smart 120 or the standard 60 which is going to make the experience a little bit less smooth but it's gonna save you some battery, okay? I recommend going with this one right over here to get the best experience when it comes to having that smooth scrolling effect on your phone. Now, if you do consume a lot of video, there's two other options at the bottom here that are very important. Now, one of them is the motion graphic smoothing option. So when I click on this, and if I enable this, what this is gonna allow you to do when you are watching a movie using the supported applications that are gonna show up here, as you install them, this option is gonna reduce the motion blur of the actual movie, giving you a more smooth experience as you watch the movie. And here's a little preview, as you can see. There's a little stutter here. That one is more smooth. That's what you're gonna get. Now, when I go back over here, you also have this one right here, this option, ultra high video resolution. Again, you enable this. Uh, what's gonna happen is, this is gonna improve the video clarity by using an algorithm, an AI algorithm. So the video is simply gonna look more vibrant, more colorful, if that's what you want. If there's any apps that support the feature, they're gonna show up here. As of now, I don't have any. So the app must be supported if you wanna use this feature. Okay, so that's that. That's for display. That's especially good for people that consume media and then want the maximum experience. Now at the bottom under display, one more thing is the ambient display. So you do have an ambient screen that can be turned on and off. Now when you have it on, you can either pick up your phone to show it or tap the screen once to show it. So let me turn off the phone, tap it once, I'm gonna see the ambient display. And also you can raise the phone and you are gonna see that ambient display gives you a quick glance at your clock. As you can see, if there's any notifications, the battery and the fingerprint sensor right here, okay? Let's go back inside. And again, if I go back to those settings, you can also have it as always on ambient display. If you want, I recommend you don't do it. Just keep it off and tap to show it if you wanna see basic information at the bottom here you can even customize it so that it shows what you want it to show so that's like the always on display that they call the ambient display on the oneplus 9 pro and one more very important thing under ambient display is if you go to horizon light at the bottom you click on this horizon light so when you get a text message when somebody calls you any notification 
you are going to get this horizon light around the edges of the screen. What you can do is you can pick between four colors, okay? This is like the edge lighting effect on the Samsung phones, but it's much more simplistic. You can only pick four different colors, as you can see, red, orange, purple, and blue, okay? Now, this works when the screen is turned off. If the screen is on, you get a notification, it's not going to work. You say when you're done and you move on. Let's move on. Now, the next thing I want to talk about if I go to the settings over here is this special menu uh, on the top that says customization. You click on it and you get a bunch of customization options. On the top, it's all about the lock screen and the ambient display that we talked about. Now, that ambient display can be modified right here. You can go to clock and you can pick different ambient displays as you can see, okay? So you have a bunch of options. You can make it look a little bit better uh, than what we saw in the very beginning. Let's tap that one more time and look at the other options. So these are all the ambient display options that you can choose, minimalistic and all that stuff, okay? And also you can change the fingerprint animation here and the horizon light that we talked about. So they bundled all that here on the top, but of course there's always other ways to access them. Now, on the top, I mean on the bottom here, we see accent color. Let's click on it. Let me pull this down and look at what we have. We have these red accent colors. I can change that to blue, green, whatever. Let's, let me show you the difference. So when I pull this down now, it's now going to be green ambient color. So accent color, my bad. So that's the accent color and you're going to see throughout the phone at the icons over here as well. So that's a nice little customize, customization touch. And then we can change the system icons, their shapes from round to square to teardrop to rectangle. And again, just an example, Let's click save. Now, when I pull this down, okay, you can see the teardrop icon shapes right here. We also have the icon packs that you can um, change. Also go to the store and download additional ones from the uh, icon pack play store. And finally, at the bottom, we have the font that we can change as you can see, all right? So that's the customization options bundled under the screen for maximum customization on your one plus. Now, one more thing I'm going to show you guys in the home screen is if I'm over here and if I pull up, it takes me to the app drawer, but there's another option. If I pull and hold, it shows me a different screen. It shows me these tabs and it brings up the keyboard real quick so I can search it. But this one shows me the new, newly installed applications, tool applications, reading applications and stuff like that. So again, pull up and hold and that's going to, that's going to show up. And to enable that, you pinch the screen, go to home settings, and you enable this option, quick search gestures, okay, as you can see. So that's just a swipe up, that's swipe up and hold. And when I go back here, in this screen, we have double tap to lock. So if you enable this, now I can double tap on the screen to lock the screen, and of course, double tap, tap to wake it up. Now I do wanna let you know, if you go to the settings, all the way down, if you go into utilities, down over here under buttons and gestures, you can also enable or disable uh, double tap to wake from here, okay? Now let's talk about this menu. Uh, buttons and gestures, there's a lot going on here. We do have a slider on the side here. That's the power button, that's a slider. You can tell the phone what to do as you use the slider. So let me put this on silent. So now right now it's in silent mode. And this is what it's gonna do. Uh, if I have it on vibration mode, which is in the middle, okay, for this slider on the side, now this is what it's gonna do. You can always modify this a little bit, as much as it allows you to do. And if you put it on ring mode, then everything is gonna be fully on. And there's some customization options for that side slider. Nothing fancy, but still a couple things to do. We also have the capability to uh, modify the navigation bar and gesture. So right now, uh, what I have is I have the back, home, and recent buttons right here. I can switch over to navigation. So now I can use the phone like this, as you can see, which is great, okay? Some people love this. I can even hide this bottom bar, this line, for full immersion. Now it's again, it's, it's navigation, but it doesn't give you that hint at the bottom. 
And if you do go down, this gives you a tutorial of everything you do. You can tap on Start Learning. It actually walks you through uh, the whole thing. But again, I prefer to have my buttons right here. Again, here's the instructions at the bottom if you have the gestures enabled. But this is how I'm going to keep it. So that's customizable. And then we have double click the power button. So when you double click that power button, you can quickly launch the camera. Let's try it out. Double tap. Boom. The camera is launched. Okay. That happens even if the phone is uh, locked or you can disable it. It's up to you. And we have press and hold the power button. That's going to bring up the power menu or you can bring up the voice assistant. All right. So now I press and hold. It's going to bring up Google Voice Assistant. That's to power off. Let's press and hold. Look at that. Hello, Google. How are you? I'm doing well. Okay, so as you can see, that's customizable. Uh, let me go back to the settings here. You can even change the Voice Assistant if you have multiple assistants installed. Uh, obviously, you want to stick with Google. Now, if we go back, here we have an advanced customization screen. That's the Quick Gestures option. There's so much going on here. Let's tap on it. Let me give you an example. Uh, three finger screenshot is enabled. Look at that. I can take a screenshot just like that. Double tap to wait. Talked about that already. And then we have things like this. On the lock screen, when the screen is off, you have music control gestures or you have these custom gestures. Let's look at the V. Draw a V. So let's say when I draw a V on the, on the screen when it's turned off, I can do all these things or I can open an application. So here's an example. Let's go to calculator. Now let's turn off the screen. Let's draw a V. Now it's going to ask me to put in my fingerprint and it's going to launch the calculator. Okay. So that's what these are. These gestures. You can customize every single one of these guys and you can have the music controls that if you draw on the screen, it's going to go to the previous track. If you draw this, on the screen, it's going to go to the next track. If you draw this on the screen, it's going to say with two fingers, it's going to pause or play the music. And again, these gestures only work when the screen is turned off. All right. Just remember that, including double tap to wake, obviously. So even more customization right there. Let's go back out. Now, back in the settings, if I go to the settings and if I go all the way down, we have some system options. I'm going to come back to utilities too. So system options, we have a RAM boost option. Tap on it. It's going to allow you to optimize the RAM so it manages your phone for maximum performance and maximum battery savings. It can be disabled or enabled as you can see. So that's under system. Under system, we also have this other thing right here. We have the backup option. If you want to back up your phone, you want to make sure this is always enabled. It backs up to your Google account. And finally, another important thing, we have the multiple users. So if you want to add extra users like your kid, maybe your wife, your phone with their own profiles, you can set that up right here. That's you. You can do guest or add more users. All right. So let's go back here. And then we have the utility section right here. Again, we have a lot of stuff going on here. Tap on it. We have the quick launch option. Now, let me show you what that is. If this is enabled, here's what you can do. Turn off the phone. Press and hold and look at what happens. I have access to these options right here. I can go to any one of these guys that I desire. That's a new note. But the way it works is you go to shortcuts and you add which shortcuts you want to have up there. So let's uh, pick something different a little bit. Let's go for applications. Let's just pick calculator as an example. Turn off the phone. OK, let's uh, press and hold. Keep it ho hold down and then you can go back and forth. Calculator. OK, so that's uh, another customization option that we have known as the quick launch. Let's disable that for now, but you get the idea. And of course, you want to make sure that you do have the pocket mode enabled. So this is going to basically prevent accidental screen touches or fingerprint operations when the phone is in your pocket. Make sure it's enabled. It's just safer that way. And finally, we have the app locker. If I click on this one, let me dump in my pin number. What I can do is I can add applications to my app locker. So calculator, calendar, that's it. So I hid two applications right now. So once you have the app locker enabled, just like I showed you, okay, now when I go out, try to launch the application, let me, let me go like this. So you do have to restart the screen. Now when I go back, 
I try to access this application, it wants me to put in my PIN number to access that application. So you can lock your applications and encrypt them that way. Additionally, you also have something known as a hidden space. If I pull this up, I can swipe over and I have this hidden space where it can hide applications. So this is simple, not as advanced, okay? So these apps are not gonna show up here, they're gonna be right here, but it's not gonna have a PIN number, but with the app locker, you can actually add a PIN number to your application. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you learned something new. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.